Good day, everyone. This is Chuck Terry, Crescent Valiani. Uh, this is a continuation of the uh, basic operations of the Create software. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Create. Uh, again, we're back here at our default page. Uh, over here is our mat width, our mat height, our borders, like we discussed in our previous uh, video. Uh, today, I'm going to just type in a uh, mat design. So my frame size, I'm going to go 10 by 10 and tab over. I'm going to leave my borders at 2 inches. I'm going to insert a template by clicking one time on the template. When I click on the template, it's going to come in and it's going to populate to two inches all the way around. So my opening dimension happens to be six by six. Now, this is going to be a single mat at the moment. I've got my outside dimension set by 10, uh, 10 by 10. It's a single opening. I've got layer one. I've got a normal cut and I'm using the 40 degree green head to, to de determine what it's cutting on the inside. Now, if I want to change any of these objects up here, I can do so if I want to do a V groove, if I want to do decor, if I want to do um, uh, uh, a reverse bevel, I can do so. For this purpose, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So what I want to show you is that in order to be able to add another layer, all I have to do is click on the check boxes here. Now, one key fundamental aspect that you need to understand about the Valiani software is that it works from the artwork upward towards the glass. So layer one is always going to be closest to the artwork. And then as I add my layers in by clicking the check box, it's going to work towards the glass. So in this case, now I've got a double mat. I'm going to cut two separate mats. My layer one mat is going to be cut and the opening dimension is going to be six by six. And then it's going to cut my next layer, which is layer two. And it's going to be six by six with a quarter inch reveal all the way around. And again, it's set to a normal cut and 40 degree cutting head. So number one, is my bottom mat and in this case number two is my top mat now if I make a third layer okay my third layer is now closest to the glass and if I want to make an adjustment to uh, my reveal maybe I want my middle mat to be set at a half inch reveal I would adjust that to a half inch and then what that does is it maintains the distance for layer three so that on layer three, I have a quarter inch reveal. Okay, now it's all going to be cut three different layers, three different types of mat board. Um, and the positioning of it hasn't changed. And because I didn't adjust my opening dimension my borders are going to be equal to that so let's say i want to make this opening just a small a, a smaller by just a little bit so 5.75 by 5.75 my borders no longer reflect what my position of my opening is okay now what i'm looking at here is uh, a opening size of five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So I can ignore my borders at this point. Now it's telling me from the bottom mat. So from this edge over to the outer edge of the mat, all the way around, I have two and one eighth. Okay. Now, if I want to see what the top layer is, I'm going to come down here to the top bottom reference layer. And then I'm going to click on T for top. And then if I want to know what the distance is based off of all the adjustments I made for my reveals, I go from layer one to layer two, layer two to layer three, and layer three being my topmost mat, it's telling me that I have an inch and three eighths all the way around. 
So if you need to know that information, remember to toggle back and forth with your bottom top reference.